welcome to another video. Uh, I just want to quickly talk about representation in soaps uh, of a serial drama. I did do another video on the soap opera at uh, the conventions of the soap opera, so please watch that video if you haven't already done so. I touched upon representation very quickly in that video. Representation soap is quite good for evaluation. You could argue that in many cases it's quite traditional and perhaps quite problematic when it comes to representation of certain demographics. However, there is argument to suggest that it is certainly more countertypical or certainly more uh, progressive when it comes to representation of other demographics. Certainly if you were then to compare those uh, to other television shows, uh, perhaps dramas, maybe even Hollywood films themselves, who perhaps are unwilling to take the risk when it comes to more progressive representation of certain demographics. We'll cover a couple of those today very quickly in this video. I do want to talk about some of the tropes that you often see in a soap opera. So for example, the traditional family. You might have the uh, traditional mom, dad, daughter, son uh, move in to the street or the square uh, or the village uh, and there will be a new family who will be very much a traditional family that most audiences will perhaps have some sort of personal identity with. You then find perhaps the opposite, the dysfunctional family, perhaps uh, made up of some characters who perhaps unto themselves have had problematic histories, who may well be um, made up of a number of families who have come together, perhaps stepbrothers, stepsisters, divorcees, etc. Uh, and again, there may well be representation uh, and personal identity opportunities for the audience in that family. You will have the single father, the single mother. Again, you will find in these instances, perhaps very stereotypical in their construction. We'll rely on stereotypes that are often, again, problematic. The single father perhaps will have no job, may perhaps drink, may perhaps be struggling for custody, and the mother might well perhaps be more successful, who has custody, perhaps unto herself, may be stereotypically struggling to cope. And again, this is perhaps why we refer to as representation in soaps being perhaps problematic. Again, other characters, we might have the drunk, the village priest, also known as the moral compass, perhaps somebody who people look, look to for um, advice, who seek um, some sort of um, confirmation of what they're doing is being correct or not correct, etc. Uh, they, they may well be a sexually promiscuous female character who may well also come from the above dysfunctional family. You will often have a hyper-masculine male character, perhaps, again, in EastEnders, your gangster character, someone who might own some sort of um, dodgy uh, company, perhaps may well buy up certain properties on in the village or in the street or in the square. This may overlap with him being an anti-hero character, somebody who, again, we are not necessarily meant to resonate with, perhaps your bad boy, or who may well have some sort of grey moral compass, who may well do certain things that are questionable, but also ultimately may well save the child from the burning building or do something heroic that we then hopefully resonate with. Again, we might also have some sort of business mogul. This may well overlap with some of the other anti-heroes or perhaps some of the hyper-masculine characters. Somebody again who comes in with a suit on, flashes the cash, uh, perhaps impresses some of the female characters and stereotypically again comes in with some sort of power, some sort of pre-established empire uh, and starts buying up several properties in the location that that soap is set in. The male pinup again may well have some overlap with the anti-hero, the hyper-masculine character. Uh, they are usually the attractive male that then starts to uh, seduce all the female characters, perhaps starts to have the affairs, and may also be, again, as we've said, perhaps the hypermasculine or anti-hero character. You often find, in terms of representation of uh, age, the troubled youth characters, perhaps the terror children, may be part of that dysfunctional family, perhaps young uh, children characters who, who turn to crime, perhaps join a gang, perhaps start vandalizing certain things, getting involved in um, drug dealing, perhaps teenage pregnancies, 
uh, some sort of issue relevant again to society but again in terms of the soap opera may well be a trope a narrative uh, plot device that is used time and time again in all of the soaps perhaps at least once a year other stereotypical tropes the hard man again having an overlap perhaps with the hyper masculine anti-hero character the soap grandmother perhaps the rita character the peggy character uh the character who has been on the soap perhaps since day one who again may well uh be in parallel with the village priest character a character people go to for advice and seek some sort of um clarification or some sort of permission from You've got perhaps a representation of working class as well. And again, that dysfunctional family, you might find that that character could be the Chav character, perhaps uh, in terms of costume, behavior, dialect, may well be very stereotypical in terms of their representation. And you often find the slapstick clown character, the Steve McDonald, perhaps the person who's always uh, down on the look, the person who's always getting into trouble accidentally, okay? We could argue, and I have perhaps discussed this in this video already, and certainly in the codes and conventions of the serial drama um, discussion video, covered perhaps problematic representation of issues such as LGBT, race or ethnicity, religion, class, I've already talked about, working class in particular, age of disgust and disability. You could argue that the stereotypical representation of these demographics is problematic when they face stereotypical representation that are perhaps not necessarily um, covered in depth or may well be repeated formulaically uh, and have been for many years. But again, you could argue that the inclusion of representation of any of those uh, issues that are ignored often in Hollywood is perhaps slightly more progressive uh, in comparison. Again, you could argue that the soaps perhaps have attempted to represent certain issues, LGBT, race, issue, uh, race ethnicity, religion, uh, and disability more um, counter-typically of late, uh, and are certainly willing to tackle those issues um, more so than perhaps Hollywood. Another argument may well be that the soaps are only doing that in order to have a unique selling point and may well be exploiting LGBT, race, religion, class, age, or disability in order to have a controversial storyline that may well trend on social media or perhaps go viral. Lots of good opportunities for uh, evaluation there when you consider different readings of those representations. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please watch my other video on codes and conventions of the serial drama as well, uh, which covers things like episode length um, and other conventions. So please look at that video as well. Uh, like this video. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.